Hi everybody, it's the Soap Man and it's time to make some soap. So today I'm going to be doing a pretty simple soap. It's going to be an in the pot swirl and the base of course will be white and that'll be about half of it. My two accent colors will be Sahara Gold. Let's get that off there. And I may even put a little bit of brown in that and then I'm going to put TD in it. I'm going for sort of a caramel color is what I'm thinking. The other accent will be Brambleberries Aqua Pearl, which I'm also going to put TD in to lighten up. Those will be the two accents in the white base, and the fragrance is a combination. I always use these two together. I've used them each on their own, but I love them together. Brambleberries Electric Lemonade Cocktail and Brambleberries Lemon, Ver Lemon Verbena Yankee Type. Each is great on its own, but together, man, they are fantastic. The two together do accelerate, but that's okay because this is a pretty simple soap. I can do a pretty quick pour, and it's a manageable acceleration. So, I actually like my in-the-pot swirl kind of thick, so I am, I am okay with that. Let's get started. Everything set up and ready. Yes, let's do it. I'm soaping at about 90 degrees Fahrenheit, so I will start by... Carefully pour in the lye water into the oils. And of course, rinse the container. Bring this to a light emulsification. Good enough. So let's pour off our two accent colors. And I really want the majority of this white. I want these just really truly accent colors. So I'm going to pour maybe just over half. And that's it. Okay, so for our accents, let's start with these. Put a are we a heaping teaspoon of the Sahara Gold? Let's see what it looks like when I get it mixed. And a heaping teaspoon of the Aqua Pearl. And let's mix these and see what we have to start. I mean, just a sixteenth of a teaspoon of brown. Not even that much. to lighten both of these up. And that's not what I was expecting. Oh shoot, I should have left the brown out. Nothing I can do now. Chocolate milk. Nothing I can do about it. But that's what I want. Yeah, I should not have put brown in that. I will know better next time. 
and then TD into our white. I think I have some mixed up a little bit. That's better. Let's hit these with the stick blender and then I'll get them fragranced and brought to the consistency that I like for in the pot soil. Oh, I wish I hadn't made chocolate milk. I wanted that caramel color and I bet it would have been if I'd left it alone. That it would have been. I stir these quite a good bit and this fragrance accelerates I am going to hand stir this in about half and a quarter and a quarter is looking like it needs a quick hit with the stick blender so I will give it a quick hit and hope I don't regret it. Hope that I don't regret it. around the 
the perimeter, down the center, and stop. Take the spatula and just kind of tap. To help move everything around. And let's see if I can do something with this before it gets too thick, because it's starting to. And some rubbing alcohol to prevent soda ash. So as usual, I'll let that sit five minutes, spray it again, wrap it up, and put it to bed, and we'll see tomorrow what we have. So thanks for watching everybody, and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, we're back to cover soap, and we have our usual results. It popped out of the mold at 12 hours, slick, shiny mirror-like images. This isn't the color I was looking for. I was wanting a caramel color, but it turned out pretty well just the same. I'm still pretty happy with it, and I'm real curious to see what it's like inside. So let's cut into it. Okay, very nice. Let's chop these into bars. Kind of muted and subtle, not really what I was planning on, but oh well.
Okay, I'll cut the other one off camera because there's not a whole lot to see with this one. I'm a bit let down with the results. It's not what I planned, but once again, let's face it. It's a bar of soap. This recipe does a great job cleaning, smells fantastic, and I know whoever gets it's going to love it, and that's what matters. So, to all my Christian friends out there, have a great Easter weekend, and to all of you, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, take good care of yourselves, and I'll see you next week. Bye.